Hey everyone, I'd like to welcome those who are new to this channel. My name is Pedram and I'm a professor in Data Analytics and Information Systems. I'm giving you a quick update on the courses that I'm developing in 2023. Starting from next week, the second week of January, I will be releasing new and updated slides, Python notebooks and lecture videos. I'll start with the deep learning course and release brand new videos every Friday. So without further ado, let's take a quick look at the course contents and where you can get it. You should be able to go to my GitHub account, just Google uh, my name, Pedram Jahangri, and uh, you should be navigated to, the, uh, to this GitHub repository. Uh, so these are the repositories for the new courses that I'm developing. So the machine learning, deep learning, and deep forecasting. So the machine learning is not new. We have an older version uh, since I started teaching this in, back in 2021. Uh, but I'm going to release some new slides and as you know, these contents need to be updated on a regular basis. Okay, so these three pages that I have at the top are the repositories for machine learning, deep learning and deep forecasting. So this is a deep learning, this is a deep forecasting. So let's start with the machine learning one. Uh, so here you can get access to all the cheat sheets, lectures and uh, there are two folders here, older slides and newer slides. So I will be releasing all these slides from this coming week. You can get access to platforms and tools. So here I talk about, for example, how to set up your VS Code, Google Colab, NumPy, Carrot, and etc. And there is my this my old version of the Python crash course back in 2020. Uh, if I feel the need, I can go ahead and update that course as well for 2023. But there's not going to be that much difference. So every semester, I'm planning to update the same repository for each course. So you don't need to, to clone to a new repository. Okay, so let's start with the machine learning one. Um, for those of you who are new, you know, this is our roadmap. I assume that you have a mathematics and a statistics background and you have a decent understanding of the kinematics. And our next step is machine learning. Okay. So, um, you can, by the way, you can get in touch with me you know, through via LinkedIn or you can follow me on the Twitter. This is a new account that I created. I plan to post some AI related latest news or papers that I enjoy reading. And of course, this is a link to the YouTube channel. So the topics that I cover in machine learning is basically supervised, unsupervised and the classical models of the, in the supervised ones. Uh, but before starting the course, jumping into the module, uh, models, I will talk about some basics of machine learning. So I highly encourage you to review these lecture videos before jumping into the models. Because at the high level, I talk about what is the difference between statistical learning and machine learning. And then we go to some penalized regression, we do logistic regression, uh, we talk about KNNs, SVM, and boosting trees. So right now, in the older version of the machine learning, I only covered XGBoost, but in the new version, I will be covering different boosting strategies like or models like CatBoost and LightGBM in details. And then we will conclude this course by talking about some unsupervised learning methods like PCA and clustering techniques, including k-means and hierarchical clustering. And then I will conclude this course by doing an automated machine learning, PyCarrot. There's a separate ch play YouTube playlist on my channel that you can check it out. But um, the, the, the materials are also available on this GitHub repository as well. So that was the, the machine learning course. The next one that I will start releasing from next week, again, second week of January, is the deep learning course. So here, I assume that you, you, know, you have taken the machine learning course, you know the concepts of machine learning, and now let's go beyond working with the structured data. So usually we use, we leverage deep learning because first of all, the machine learning is not necessarily designed for uh, handling unstructured data like video, uh, voices, images, and etc. And secondly, we know that these deep learning models are more flexible, so they are able to capture the patterns um, maybe, maybe in a better way, right? We talk about the caveats of deep learning as well in the course, so make sure that um, you follow along with me and let me know if you have any questions. So just like the machine learning course, we are gonna have lectures, you know, platforms and tools. Here I'm gonna add uh, the TensorFlow and PyTorch down the road and make some videos on YouTube as well. And yeah, 
the same stuff here, just the, let's look at the course content for the deep learning. So I plan to start with uh, basically the introduction to deep learning. What is the difference between deep learning and machine learning? And I compare these with the statistical learning, right? Then I'll talk about how to set up your deep learning environments because there are lots of packages involved and we need to spend some time to make sure that you're all on the same page. We're going to review machine learning fundamentals and concepts, and it, this is going to be a quick, uh, maybe two class videos. And then if we go over deep neural networks. Uh, I break down what is neural network, what is deep neural network, and we talk about uh, why in essence these models work. And then we will cover deep computer vision. In the deep computer vision, I will specifically talk about uh, CNN, convolutional neural networks, and we continue to RCNN type of uh, family, you know, uh, this is region-based uh, CNN. We do fast, uh, fast RCNN and faster RCNN. We talk about these things and then we continue with the YOLO, uh, YOLO leak once, and then we conclude with FCN. This is fully convolutional networks for image segmentations. Then if we go to the deep sequence modeling. In the deep sequence modeling, I will cover the most classical models, RNN, recurrent neural networks, and LSTM. And then we are ready to, to talk about the state of the arts models, including transformers, right? So we will discuss the paper, uh, attention is all you need. And then based on that, we are gonna look at the transformers models and some, some of the latest, uh, 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 state-of-the-art uh, transformer-based models. Then uh, in module 8 we will cover, cover deep generative modeling and in, for that I will cover the basic models, you know, autoencoders, variational autoencoders and GAN. And finally we're going to conclude the course with some basic concepts, concepts of uh, deep reinforcement learning. Okay, so that was the deep learning course. And the third one is going to be our deep forecasting course. So this is one of my favorite topics that I have been working on time series forecasting for years. Uh, again, the same setup, the platforms might be slightly different, but as we move forward, I'm going to release these things. So just pay attention. I will start by releasing the videos for deep learning course. But, uh, and after that, I will plan to release the videos for uh, deep forecasting. But the slides are going to be released simultaneously. So I'm going to, from next week, I'm going to release all the slides for all the courses. But the videos, I will start with the deep learning and deep forecasting. So time-wise, I think this is going to take me uh, two to three months. And then let's say in the second quarter of 2023, I'll start recording, publishing the recordings of deep forecasting. But be aware, if you want to do it uh, on your own, read the slides and the materials, you should be good to go from next week. All right, so what is inside this deep forecasting course? And by the way, this is the name that I came up with. You know, I don't know if it is right to say deep forecasting or not, but I, I just thought that uh, it's a cool name. It's a combination of classical models, classical econometric models for time series and machine learning models and deep learning models. So that's why I wanted to call it a deep forecasting. You can think of it as advanced time series forecasting. And uh, the topics that I cover uh, in this deep forecasting, at least as of now, is basically we talk about the introduction of deep forecasting and setting about a forecasting environment. So this environment is both Python environment and you know some basics of time series. Uh, then we go to exponential smoothing methods and the models based on those methods, basically the ETS models. Then we look at Sarimax family, you know, this is Arima, the, uh, Arima models, Arima family based models. And then we review some machine learning models for time series. Mainly we will focus on boosting algorithm because we know that when it comes to time series, boosting algorithm, algorithms like XGBoost, like GBM, these are better compared to other machine learning models. So I will not cover basic machine learning models for time series. So for example, I will not talk about KNN regression or maybe even SVM regression, but I will talk about boosted regression trees when it comes to time series forecasting, simply because they work better in practice. And then uh, we introduce deep neural networks, just like the deep learning course. So th there's going to be overlap uh, 
especially for these three modules between the deep forecasting and deep learning. But when it comes to these deep sequence modeling and transformers, I will focus more on time series data. Because at the end of the day, the time series data is a structured data. And uh, yeah, sometimes the setup is a slightly different. We have to make sure that we are doing data transformation properly. Then we can feed this input to the transformers and the, the, the deep learning models. And I'm going to conclude the course with uh, profit and neural profit. So these are also you know, powerful packages that we can use for time series regression. Okay, so that's all. Uh, I hope you stay tuned. You know, you make sure that you clone these repositories. And okay, so at the end, let me know what you think. This is, of course, the first version of two of my courses, you know, the, the deep learning and deep forecasting. So there might be some typos. Feel free to email me or make me make a pull request on the GitHub repositories for each course. Yeah, with that, I will see you in the next one. Happy learning.